Hello again! In this video I show you how to use the trace tool and the sewing line type chart. And before you use the trace tool you should know the different line types and for this you can also watch my line type video. And with the trace tool I can either convert single base lines into internal lines or convert shapes into a pattern piece. To do this I go to the trace tool and select a line with right click and trace as internal line. Then I can move the um, line here or I can also um, double click to select all of them and enter. Then I have also um, internal lines. And with the trace tool I can also um, make a new pattern, so double click um, on all of the internal lines, right click and trace this pattern. And now I have to, uh, just to sew it on. If I sew two pattern pieces together the seam will be 180 degree, but if I sew one pattern piece underneath another um, I want the line to be zero degree. Here on the example um, you, you can see quite well that the result is 180 degree here. Um, the program tried to do 180 degree here as well and here zero degree. The software doesn't recognize by itself where um, you want to have zero degree so they seem trace always be 180. But you can change it yourself. Um, for example, I sew the spacing underneath and then I go to edit, edit sewing, select the line and go here to the line type, turn. I can also do this directly after sewing, so maybe I sew here. And then directly to sewing line type and turn. And um, then there are also not so strange curvatures at the edges. Um, then I go, can go to the 3D window, right click on the pattern and superimpose under, and the same here on the pocket, superimpose over. And then when I start the simulation, I can see that the pattern pieces lay perfectly on top of each other. As a conclusion, I would say um, that all pattern pieces um, that are turned over must be sewn with the line type turned. So if you have any questions, feel free to write me and write it in the comments.